dear viewers greetings in this present video we are going to see about a slide culture technique aim the aim of the slide culture technique is to identify the fungal morphology without any disturbances uh, principle uh, fungi are the group of eukaryotic microorganisms and they are identified mostly by the close examination of its morphology and the characteristics it possesses Identification of fungi is often difficult by a teaspoon method uh, because of the dislodgement of conidia and spores from the conidiogenous cells. Uh, to overcome this, a slide culture technique is considered as a best for preserving and observing the actual structure of their fungi without any disturbances. Uh, the slide culture technique was uh, first developed by uh, Riedel in the year 1950 and currently uh, several, several modifications are in use. And next, in slide culture technique, fungi are inoculated in small blocks of nutrient deficient medium like uh, cornmeal agar or potato dextrose agar. Uh, the, here, the fungi, when grow in the nutrition deficient medium, it develops the spores uh, more rapidly and adheres to the surface of the cover slip. So, uh, so we preferring the cornmeal agar or potato dextrose agar for the slide culture technique. And after uh, inoculating. Uh, the uh, fungi in a uh, small blocks of nutrient deficient medium uh, the surface of uh, agar is covered with a cover slip and incubated after incubation the cover slip is removed from the agar block and placed on another slide to which a dye such as lactophenol cotton blue uh, may be added and observed for the microscopic uh, structure uh, by doing this uh, there is no need to remove a portion of fungi from a culture plate and transfer it to the slide so uh, there is a less chance uh, for the features that are uh, key to the identification, uh, notably the spores, spore bearing structures to be damaged. And next, the materials required for the slide culture technique are uh, fungal culture, cornmeal agar or potato dextrose agar, petri dish, uh, scalpel or spatula, glass slides, cover slip, and lactophenol cotton blue stain. The procedure uh, first. Prepare the cornmeal agar or potato dextrose agar medium and cut the block of agar by inserting the scalpel and carefully transfer this block aseptically to the center of the glass line. And next, uh, inoculate the four sides of the agar square with the spores or mycelial fragments of the fungus to be examined. Uh, be sure to flame and cool the loop prior to uh, picking up the uh, spores. After that, uh, aseptically place a sterile cover slip on the upper surface of the agar cube. And next, the, place the glass light uh, with fungi inoculated agar block on a petri dish uh, with weight cotton on both sides and incubate at room temperature for 24 hours or 48 hours. And after uh, 48 hours, uh, gently remove the cover slip from the fungi inoculated agar block and plate it on the microscopic slide containing a drop of lactophenol cotton blue. And finally, uh, observe microscopically for the characteristic shape and arrangement of the uh, fungal spores. And next, the observation and results. Uh, in the end, the morphology of the fungi was observed clearly uh, without any disturbances under the microscope in 45X objective. And your viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.